What was the creepiest thing someone said on the first date? You've actually been talking to my mother. I'm not very good at things like this. We had s Ted. Edit to explain. I'm a girl and mom was texting for her son. He's just talking on the phone and inserts. It's not like I want to uh, pay you or anything. He tried to contact me for a face to face date. I don't respond. He shows up to my office on a campus. Starts raging and gets security called on him and escorted off. Friend told me the guy not only asked for a selfie but posted on Facebook with the caption my queen. First time meeting. Went on a Tinder date to the movies when I was 18. He picked me up in his truck and played terrible loud depressing music. In the theater. He was on his phone swiping on Tinder the whole time. Then leaned over and told me that I was lucky to be out with him because all these other girls wanted to be with him. Yikes. My roommate picked me up when I excused myself to the bathroom. I invited my ex to join us for lunch. I told this guy I played the piano. And like half an hour later he said. If I wanted you to always remember me. I'd break your ring fingers. You know. Cause they don't heal well and then you'd always think of me when playing. Suffice to say. I left the restaurant fairly quickly. Can I cut you and drink it? She was serious. Mid-date he placed his hand on my stomach and said my son will grow here. I just really like mustard as she continues suck mustard packets worst part. We were at a somewhat nice restaurant. She brought mustard to eat. I love Asian girls. They remind me of children. That isn't a red flag. That's a red banner. Look. This has to go well. Both of my brother's wives are pregnant with their second children. Do not let me down. Said to me within 3 minutes of sitting down. Went out with a girl one night and after dinner she drove me up into the mountains. I was new to the area, and after a while. When there were no more lights. She started talking about serial killers. Called their mom in front of me to say they met a real winner and how they were done with their ex. Not sure if this counts but it was really uncomfortable. He wanted to go for a walk at the park with me at 4am. So when I said no he said. Don't worry. I won't uh, pay you. And gave me a twisted smile. I want you to carve your initials on my thigh with a knife. She was very serious. He told me he could uh, pay me if he wanted. He wasn't joking. Within knowing each other about an hour he told me he had never wanted kids before. But the moment we met he felt it biologically. Then he told me he wanted to be my son's stepfather as well. Bragging about going to Cuba and Thailand to meet cheap SX workers. I have a relative in banking. I have checked out all of your family financially. WTF. What do you say to that? Not what he said but what he did. He ying stole my keys while I was out of the room and took off into the night. We had an hours long standoff where he wouldn't answer my calls or texts begging him to return them. I stood by his truck that was parked a few blocks away making sure that he didn't leave with them. Eventually he dropped them off in my car and I got a ride home from the cops. Honestly one of the scariest episodes of my life. When we get married I can wear this dress. First date went back to her place and while giving me the tour she pulled a beautiful wedding dress out of her closet and said this to me while holding it up to her body. Edit. I actually said AWW put it on and we can then never called her again. Three weeks later she called me at midnight I know you have people watching me. You called it beautiful. You noticed. You noticed the dress. You're the one. It's meant to be. We would have cute babies or my personal favorite for Halloween we could go as a slave and master haha. Get it? Because you're black? Better lock it down now. Huh. While you're ripe for the taking. He was in the military, Canadian. I asked him if he ever did any volunteer work overseas with the military and he said. No. I joined the military to kill people not to help people. Chugged my beer and got out of there as fast as I could. 
If anyone is out there struggling to find dates just needs to read this thread and realize if these people can get first dates. You can do anything. Maybe not the creepiest thing but pretty gross. I was hanging with a guy I met through a mutual friend. So we go out for ice cream and go back to sit in his car to listen to music while we had our ice cream. He's sharing his taste in music with me while rubbing my head playing with my hair? Didn't quite know how to feel but I figured he was trying to be romantic. Not too long after this. He got to the bottom of his ice cream cone, the one with the chocolate on the inside, and said. This is your asshole. And tried to show off his rimming skills. I guess. And thought the chocolate would be cute? Colon. I'm cringing just typing this out. Not a good memory. She was driving us back home from the restaurant and started saying things like yeah no. You're in my car now I technically can take you wherever I want. You're like my prisoner. I laughed the first time she mentioned it because I'm into dark humor but when she kept going on with it little did she know once I got out of the car that would be the last time she'd ever see me. Edit. Bro. Wasn't expecting all of these upvotes. First time over one. 000 for me and it happens to be the post in which I either almost died or could have had a litaminatrix session. Well. It was the last time you saw her. A one night stand once told me I smelt like his mum. At least it was smell and not taste. Repeatedly brought up the fact that she isn't crazy or violent. Surprise. Surprise. Because she was both. Edit. I have three exes. I dated two for much longer than her and I'm still friends with them. I do not like calling people crazy. But she definitely was. Hopefully she is doing better and isn't expressing her emotions through violence and emotional verbal abuse. It's been about 6 years now. So hopefully she has grown. This is not my story. But my mother's. My mom was was a pioneer in online dating. She was really interested in finding someone special. She agreed to meet a guy for dinner, first mistake, and went in to be seated prior to him arriving. He came in. The waitress brought menus and he sat down his menu and the first words he spoke were asking my mom if she has ever known anyone who had a penis enlargement. He then went on to explain that he had flown cross county for this operation and it had gone wrong. He went into great specifics about just how wrong. My mother excused herself to the ladies room and left out the back door. We still laugh out loud when she reminds us of her search for MR. Was new in town. Swiping on Tinder because I was bored. Do your friends know you're on a date? No. I could kill you and no one would know how. -ha. There was no second date. Show me a long list on her phone of if I can guess without exaggeration. At least 60-70 baby names for when she has a kid. And joked about having baby fever. They were all really country bumpkin names like Brecken and Gatlin too. Which somehow made it more unpalatable for me. Edit. I don't blame you for breaking up with her. After getting us lost on the way back to my friend's house. Late at night. In a state I was only visiting. What? Do you think I'm going to take you out into the woods and I'll pay you? No? He had a loaded gun rack in his truck. And a knife on his belt. I was 15. It was not funny. He described at length how men are all naturally as violent as those in the movie A Clockwork Orange and how they actively suppress it to fit in with society. This guy also invited me to a pub and proceeded to drink water while buying me G&Ts. Needless to say I yeet it out of there real quick. Described in detail how his female commanding officer liked SX with him so much she rp him repeatedly while he was in the army. He said it with so much pride that it seemed as though it was meant to impress me. Edit. It is possible this was a coping mechanism. Or him trying to convince himself. It simply came with an I'm this good at SX vibe. And I had known this man for less than 2 hours. To me it was the most uncomfortable first date I've had. Oh. You're so hot I bet women are pay you repeatedly. Said no woman ever. This guy wasn't talking at all and I only brought a few talking points cause normally they talk the whole time. I didn't have anything else to say and asked him to start talking and he said. 
what I want to talk about can't be said in public. When I ended the date he thought we were going to go to my place to talk and I said no. I got in my car. Noted what car he got into. And took a few breaths to calm down. I looked around and his car was still there. I waited 30 minutes before he left the parking lot and stayed another 15 before I left. You never know. Maybe he was gonna tell you about his superhero alter ego s but seriously that is a red banner and whoever he is. We met online and had been chatting for a while before meeting face to face. Soon into the date. We began to talk about how we would be telling the story of this date to our grandchildren. Honestly. If I was vibing with him it might have been a romantic story. But instead it just kind of freaked me out. He asked me if I'd rather go on a cruise or to a resort for our honeymoon. Then sent me a text later to tell me he showed one of his clients my picture and the client told him his girlfriend was pretty. You look just like my sister. And later in the date he admitted that's something he liked about me. Needless to say. No second date with Jamie Lannister. This is a nice place. I've seen you eating here before. This can be fairly casual to super creepy entirely depending on tone and context though. Drove me out to the desert for a planned stargazing bonfire thing. I know it's a dangerous first date meeting. I was stupid and young. Once we found a good spot he turned the car off and told me now this is where I kill you. He said it with a smile and started laughing. I'm just glad he was just joking. But doesn't make it less creepy. Spent most of the day talking about the dark web and how you can buy drugs and human organs and how cool it sounded. Awkward but okay. Next day called and invited me to go shooting in the desert. All these comments make me realize that no matter how bad I think I am dating. I'm nowhere near as bad as some people. My son is gonna love having you around. Lady. We talk twice on Tinder and I've only known you for 5 minutes. Ease up on the stepdaddy talk. Full disclosure. Not long after I met a nice woman with 3 children. I adopted all 3 not long after we married. I met her on Tinder. I was Joan of Arc in my former life. I wanna tear you apart. And your friend. 2. Kind of a toss up. Imho. This was in the early zeros when I agreed to go on a date with a persistent co-worker at Target. He showed up to my house with a giant bouquet of flowers. My parents invited him in to check him out and spoke with him for a bit. His story didn't really check out. As a volunteer firefighter I flew to help on 9 stroke 11 from Syracuse no flights obviously happened. But then all of a sudden they pulled out a disposable camera. When my mom asked him what it was for. He said CHS 135 is going on vacation for a week and I want a picture to remember her by and like from a dark comedy. We then heard the click of the shutter. I faked being suddenly sick and my mom told him I wasn't feeling well. Luckily it was only a summer job. They didn't say anything. It's what they did that creeped me out. They kept taking pictures of me when I wasn't looking. The only reason I knew this was because the first picture they took. They didn't shut the shutter sound off. So full disclosure. I used to be a fan of Hitler. Happened to a friend of mine about 5 minutes into meeting them for the date. Do you gain weight easily? Why do you want to ask that? It puts the lotion on its skin. I'll never forget it. I just had the most wonderful dinner date. We had immediately hit it off. I was already having thoughts of a long and fruitful relationship. Unfortunately. Once back in my car to drive her home she casually turned to ask me do you mind if I tie off? For those that don't know tie off typically refers to heroin use or other injected drugs. He told me several times how beautiful his mom and teenage sister were and that he hoped our kids got his genes. You have the buns of a 12 year old. While groping my buns. He told me I need to be more submissive. Like Thai women. He expected me to be that way because I'm an immigrant from a third world country. And he was upset that I'm too westernized and independent. It was offensive on so many levels. 
told me I was getting old and needed to get married and have kids soon so my grandparents can meet them. I was 25 and he was 24. The entire conversation was him waving a lot of red flags about wanting a baby mama and partner who hadn't gotten around and there was no second date. Gross. When I was 17 stroke 18 this happened. We watched a movie together and after in the parking lot he licked my eye. Licked my eye. Then he turned all weird possessive because he couldn't get the hint that I didn't like him. Texting me at 2am to ask if I was at work. I worked in a small rest stop area in the middle of nowhere and had to be at work around 3am most days. And demanding that I tell him where I am at all times. I eventually told him to go himself and just quit responding to him. Don't you think carving somebody's name on your body is romantic? Said on a Thai date. Shortly after head had violent diarrhea. I haven't had many dates yet. But there was one strange one. She told me that she is not desperate and does not necessarily want a boyfriend. She told me several times that she is not desperate and who she has dated. At some point she started to tell me that she has now lowered her standards and doesn't care if her next boyfriend is tall. Short. Fat. Thin or even red haired. That doesn't sound so bad now. But it was honestly pretty awkward. I was at a really nice diner on this one date. She remarked how she wished she could order my penis on whole wheat bread. So she could pretend it was a slice of thick roast beef. I felt like the people around us could hear all this. 2. Well. I left and never talked to her again. Very uncomfortable and weird. Actually. It was me that said it. Took a girl to see an Elton John concert. I was a little intoxicated. We were kissing. I was young and aroused. I whispered into her ear. I would kill to make love to you. Embarrasses me to this day. I was forced into having my first kiss with a co-worker of mine by my endearing friend. Co-worker is in his 20s and I'm 16. I just went with it. Decided to hang out with him and we went to the mall. I got us coffees at Starbucks so we could sit and get to know each other. He proceeds to tell me all of his asshole history and how he has genital warts but quote unquote also don't worry. If you want to have sx with me I just need my laser session and then I am good to go. I'm not judgmental about his situation but I was only 16 and just had my first kiss. I did not want to stress about genital warts. Well I told my painful breakup story to every first date for 2 years. So there's that. He told me that I would look good pregnant. Don't worry. I'm not a serial killer. To be fair I make jokes like this. But definitely not until someone gets to know me. A guy I went out with took me up on his roof where there was a bunch of roadkill laying around. He told me he was learning to do taxidermy. Didn't happen on the first date. But during one of our first phone conversations. I asked my husband if he liked serial killers. In my brain it was in the context of finding out whether he'd like a certain book before I recommended it. I don't normally date black guys. But my friend told me you guys were really good in bed. I'm not gonna be someone's fetish. He insisted he drive me to the movie theater. Which meant he would have to drive to my town 45 minutes away. Back to his town to go to the theater. Then back to my town to drop me off. I said I didn't understand why I wouldn't just drive to the theater myself to save the multiple trips. When I adamantly refused a ride he still drove to my town. Bought me a coffee and still insisted I go in his car. I still said no. Citing the fact that it would be dangerous for me to get into a vehicle with a person I didn't know. And I drove myself to the theater where I had a friend meet me for the movie. The guy still came with us to the movie and even paid for me despite me telling him I didn't think it was a good idea. Never spoke to him again and blocked his number. So. I got catfished by the craziest woman I've met. I don't mean like ohh that woman is crazy. I mean every time she reached into her bag I thought she was about to pull a gun out the way she was frantically rummaging through it. She seemed off from the jump the first time we met. 
in a ho fast forward a bit and at one point she looked at me and said. Do you ever wonder what your kids will look like? I replied. I already know my daughter is right there and she's perfect crazy lady. No. I mean our kids since we are going to get married and have a house in Texas. I had literally just matched with her on Tinder the day prior. We never once spoke of anything more than normal conversation topics. Nothing in the slightest related to either topic. I faked a phone call from work. Got in uniform. And told her she needed to leave. I waited for her to leave then drove around the block. First date he complimented me at a very intimate setting your legs are so pretty. And I was like oh when he followed can I have them? It turns out to be just a bad humor plus anxious line. He was a dork. We dated for a year or so and I still have my legs. I call it a win. They used to be a Wiccan and kept their clipped toenails fingernails in a bag under their bed. I don't know if it fits the creepy category but my first tinder match got me to sneak out of my house at midnight. He led us into the hills and at one point said what would you do if something attacked us? And just stared at me. Keep in mind it was a cold October night, in 2019, and I was in a sweater. Sandals and had no weapon to defend myself. I can't remember what I said but he then laughed and started talking more about different scenarios like running out of gas or getting attacked. He then mentioned he had a cartana in his trunk and at that point I really wanted to go home. Needless to say I never went out with him again. Edit. Awful grammar and deletion of repetitive words because it was late. I was sleepy and didn't have my glasses on. You dated white scroot. If we got married I would. A guy had super scary road rage when he was driving us to a restaurant. I mean veins bulging in his neck. Spittle flying rage screaming as I cling to the door handle as far away from him as I can get. Wondering if he's going to shoot someone. Mentally debating if I would get hurt badly if I had to jump out at that speed. Then at the restaurant he's MR. Charming. All concerned about why I'm suddenly so quiet. That she wanted get plastic surgery to become a cat and was really into blood play. My mom is widowed and started dating for the first time since being widowed when she was in her 50s. A man she had been matched with through a dating service said to her I'm going to marry you. I absolutely am going to marry you. On their first date. Never having met prior. She was also slipped GHB on a second or third date with a different guy a few months later. Luckily she got home physically unscathed. The guy was in his late 50s. Suffice to say she stopped trying to meet anyone. I was our pet and then he asked if I wanted ice cream while I was in his car weeping silently. I didn't go out with anyone for 2 years after that. So this dude and I kept randomly being on the same bus. We would never talk. But make eyes. Few months into this. We get off at the main bus hub and he approaches me and asks invites me to dinner. There was a teriyaki place right across the street. So we went and had good conversation. I had a good time. When it came to separating ways. It wasn't what he said per se. But the fact that he brought up his hand and cupped my cheek. He just sorta left it there in silence. And then slowly grazed his fingers down along my face as he pulled away. He was trying way too hard to make it like a movie scene. On the way home to their apartment. We were having a conversation. I forget how it got there. But somehow. Something in the conversation prompted me to exclaim I am not into necrophilia. Now. They're my fiance. Colon. About 10 minutes before we were due to meet. She called and said she had spotted a few friends at the bar. So that she would be with them when I got there. That sounded both fine and normal. If a bit intimidating for a first date. Semicolon. What happened instead was she. And four other strangers. Had crammed into one side of the booth and asked me to sit on the other side. They proceeded to give me an interview like panel discussion about dating their friend. I could have maybe gone along with it if my date at least seemed embarrassed. But no. She was fully into it. After a week minutes I excused myself to get a drink but just went home instead.